Howdy folks, Super Rugby, the final game of the week, Sunday game, Chiefs and uh, Canes, I've only just got home, uh, you can see the sun's going down, it's getting pretty dark, but um, I watched this one with my old man, I uh, went around to their place, had some good food, had a couple of beers with the old boy, watched some rugby, uh, we were at the park with the kids and we were home to watch the game at his place, um, on about four minutes, and guess what, two tries. Two tries, as always, key event stats, uh, upcoming fixtures for this video. Um, yeah, Pernanada apparently got an intercept try to start the game off. I didn't see it because I missed the first couple of minutes. And then ALB, we just got home and turned the TV on as he was going over the line. So, cracking start to the game, folks. Um, yeah, it was all action. And then Wes Hlissen got a try uh, as well before 10 minutes. So, it was absolutely all action. There's some penalties as well. Um, good Canes kind of set piece one for that first one. They take the lead. Uh, 15 points to 13 going into this one at half time. Um, the second half is probably where more of the action was at, to be fair. The second half was a fantastic watch, I thought. Maybe that was just me sitting down uh, with the old boy talking talking uh, rubbish, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, Gaza appreciated the performance of Artie Savia. He ends up getting a try. He liked um, uh, the hooker for the Chiefs, Tokiaho. And uh, overall, there were some other good, pretty performances. Well, I remember Jordy Barrett was at 12 for this one. Guy got through a ton of tackles. It's like they were almost targeting him in that midfield channel. But um, anyway, uh, second half of halftime stats, the Chiefs have got the run meters, but the Canes have got position and territory, and the Canes are the ones leading on the board. Uh, second half, there's uh, another penalty to the Chiefs to put them in front. And then Peter Gusso Akula, who was maybe a little bit quieter than what we're used to seeing him. No look pass after the Chiefs go nine phases. Um, to Boshia puts the, the Chiefs 23-15 up, which is starting to look pretty comfortable. And Tia Tia gets maybe one of the tries of the game. Um, his like little dummy and step at the end to finish off a good, well-worked Chiefs move was uh, was pretty class. So the Chiefs have got a 15-point lead, three-score lead. But the Canes aren't dead and buried. Remember, they did it to my Blues. They came back. Julian Savia gets one. Out on the right wing, and Nankerville came and barreled him, kind of no arms. The arm had a really late, maybe flat round, but it was kind of a no arms hit to try and put him into touch. And uh, interestingly, because Julian Savia still scored the try, when Artie Savia went over to the ref and said, Man, that should be a yellow card penalty try, the ref's like, Can't give that because he already scored the try. So it's almost like a let off where you would have been better off not scoring the try because the ref was like, I agree, that should have been a penalty try, but I can't give it because Julian scored it. So if Julian doesn't score it, then Nankerville probably gets yellow carded and then the Crus uh, Crusaders, Hurricanes probably get a penalty try. I mean, they end up getting the seven anyway because Jordy kicks it well from the sideline, but yeah, they would have had an extra man. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, they get another one through Artie. Maybe he's a bit peed off with the whole situation when they're again going forward. Uh, tap and go. He barrels over from close range. So it's a one point game. Hurricanes keep knocking on the door. Eventually they knock it on. Uh, Gatland, man, he kicks the the most important kind of 50-22 he's probably ever kicked uh, to put the Chiefs down the road into the field so they are able to see out the rest of the game in the Canes 22. Eventually they just kick the ball out. So, um, yeah, pretty pretty crazy game. A fair few tries, only one point in it. That's what we like to see. Close game, the crowd were really cheering, especially with those two Savia tries. Um, final stats, though, interestingly... It's still the Chiefs with like the run meters, 552 to 303, and offloads. Like if you feel like the Chiefs chuck it around a lot, well, the Canes had two offloads, the Chiefs 17. That's bonkers numbers. Um, but uh, the position and territory, well, the position's actually slightly with the Chiefs, but the territory is well with the Canes. So yeah, interesting kind of different ways to see the teams play. Eh? Tupaya has six offloads alone. Uh, Kane has 15 from 15 tackles. Boshi has 64 run meters. So some good performances from the Chiefs. Uh, for the Canes, like I mentioned, Jordy, 15 from 16 tackles. That's a massive shift in uh, unfamiliar, at least in terms of recent times at Super Rugby level, 12 years ago. I know he has played there in the past. Um, but yeah, uh, interesting, interesting game, I thought. Uh, the Hurricanes host the Crusaders next, so it doesn't get any easier. The Chiefs are hosting my Blues. Gaza reckons after seeing this one that the Chiefs are still above the Blues in the pecking order. But what do you guys reckon? Uh, it's getting well dark, so I'm going to head off, uh, get the kids ready for bed. You guys let me know your thoughts on the game. 
and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.